So Michael, today you're gonna to tackle the floor in this bedroom. Yes, good morning. Well, this floor is in a bit of a state, but you know from previous videos that we can fix this, no problem. Um, we can't do the windows at the minute because the weather's terrible. We've had storms and rain and uh, it's not spring at all here. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna sand the floor anyway, get it varnished, and then you can probably either put a sheet down or you can do the windows in another room. We can do windows in another room. Uh, because time waits for no man and we need to get this room finished. Exactly. So I'm gonna crack on. I'll see you a bit later. about halfway across and I noticed that there was sort of like a bright white light flashing like in the inside and then uh, it was making a lot of smoke and then all of a sudden there was sparks flying out of it and then there was it stopped working and then there was just smoke pouring out of it oh. so it caught fire and uh, so I had to sort of put it down plug it and just put it on the windowsill but this is an old one that was in the basement this is the pad this part, I took it off from the original one. So the reason we stopped using that one is because the pad broke on this one, but you've replaced it with so the yeah, one I've that burnt out. Now, but that's yeah. the old one, it's working fine. Brilliant, it so, means you can carry on. So I've done the first initial pass, which is to get all of the dirt and the paint and all of those sort of things off. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going over with 80 grip, which will sort of take a lot of the uh, roughness off, and then I'll fi finish it with a 120 grip, which will actually take all the swirls out and, uh, and uh, make it smooth. So a couple more hours and I should be done, ready to varnish. Brilliant. So I'll crack on. <laughs> <laughs> So Rick, we're at the top of the staircase. We have never been up this high before in the chateau. It's a, it's a long way down. It is, so this door here goes into the attic on this tower and it's identical the other side of the building. So you've got another one of these skylights which lets light into the staircase. Um, but what I noticed is it's not letting a lot of light through at the moment because it's very dirty on the inside. Yeah, yeah we've got a little bit of grind to yeah. clean off. But... Well, I think the trick is probably not to push too hard because I don't know how well that glass is <laughs> set in there. Yeah, gently, um, gently does it. But what's quite funny is we're directly behind um, one of the chimney breasts okay. on the other side of this window. And there's two more either side of it. And imagine if this glass wasn't frosted like it currently is, but transparent where you could see through it. So you could have a little chair here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and well, if anyone wants to walk up this high, because yeah. it must be about 200 steps. Yeah, I've got the burn on my legs getting up here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, imagine this is probably the best view in the entire building. Yeah, a nice little reading car. Yeah, maybe. it's such a shame that they put frosted glass. Yeah, but yeah. once we give it a quick clean, we'll uh, it see should... what it's like. I have cleaned it on the outside with the um, jet washer years ago, so it shouldn't be too bad on the outside. It's, uh, 
Just a bit smoky coloured, isn't it? Yeah, but, uh, exactly. We can do the outside yeah. one. Yeah, well, just just try and reach as far as you can, but don't go any further. Don't lean over because we are well a long way up. Is it third, fourth floor up? Is it fourth floor? Uh, not including the cellar, I think it's four or five know. floors in total. I don't know why so. they made the building this high, but we need an elevator. Exercise. <laughs> Exercise, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd show you um, through one of these skylights in the roof what the view would look like. Um, why that... Um, once we've cleaned those windows. Well, once yeah. that detergent's setting in a little bit, it'd make it easy to clean. But if I just sort of bring the camera around and adjust the settings, there we go. So you can see three chimneys and the tower which is above the staircase. So it's quite a nice view. As high as the hills up here, aren't we? We are, yeah. Let me put these... Uh... There we go. What do you reckon? I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I've never been up here before, so it's like a bit of an explo explo exploration. That's day, it, that's the word. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> that's um, but yeah, it's also in fantastic condition up here. Yeah, the it attic. Really uh, it's very dry, the wood's brilliant. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit like the bell tower at the convent. Oh yeah, well, that's in worse condition though. It is, but when it goes to a peak, it's... Uh, yeah, it is in quite good condition up here. Um, the only thing is I noticed there's a hole behind your head up there. <laughs> uh, probably a loose slate. That'd yeah. have to be repaired at some point, but I mean, there's no water coming in. There's no water coming in. It's actually really, really dry up here yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, poke your head out the window. Let's have a little look. Go on, have a look. Ooh, it's a long way down, isn't it? It is, yeah. Here? It is. And you'll, I see you've got like a little tunnel at the but underneath there. Is that yeah. for the rain to go down? Um, I don't know actually. Can you just yeah, see it? I do know the feature you're on about. It's got vaults between each chimney. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it probably is to let the rain out. Yeah. All right then, let's uh, crack on with them windows. Let's crack on, mate. I'll close this window. How is the new sander, Michael? Dead. <laughs> it's out there, it's been discarded. So that's the second one that blew up today. Uh, and I've actually taken the pad off of the second one and found this old one in the basement. I don't know why it was discarded. It does turn on, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I've got one more pass, because I've done the two, the 40 grit, the 80 grit, yep. and I've got to do a very quick of the 120 to finish mm -hmm. it off. Yep. Hopefully there'll be enough life left in this old, <laughs> old girl so that we can just finish it off otherwise we're gonna to have to go an hour round trip to buy a new one yeah and we haven't got time today well i will get some yeah. but um not today it might be cheaper online find them somewhere but yeah they used to be they're, cheap they're, they're not they're not for floors they're for drywall or, or plastic yeah they floor. are yeah and they're not meant to be sort of abused like they are but they uh they do the job very well but not for long no about a about thousand square feet they'll do. I think that might be the third. I'm sure we've I'm sure we've used four of these since we've bought the chateau. Well, it works. Sounds on. Sounds yeah. a bit cr croaky. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a sore throat this one. But <laughs> it, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I just need one quick pass. Go on then. And then yeah, there we go. Crack on. I'm, I'm always cracking on. <laughs> stop. We've had a little bit of an animal emergency. Last night, uh, I went to look for the pig. He didn't, hadn't come back for his dinner. And I, I, I walked the whole perimeter of the property. I've been in the fields, I've been across there, up there, and I couldn't find him anywhere. Um, but the day before, 
he had uh, we had a phone call from a farmer and they said that the pig was over with the cows in the neighbor's barn so i walked over and there was a crowd of cows all stood around in a semicircle with the pig holding court in the middle haven't they must have been having a conversation and i managed to get him pick him up and carry him back he wasn't happy about that uh, and yesterday he went missing um but he's back he's moved in with the cows he likes them so we need to get him back somehow because uh the farmer won't be happy about it. So let's go. Mm. Crack on! Crack on. <laughs> mm. I can't believe we're looking for a pig, Rick. I know, it's like, I don't say it, animal farm, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but at least we've found it. Yep. So they're the cows. So you got the pig, Michael. Oh, I had to wrangle it, wrestle it. <laughs> so that was successful, Michael. Uh, yes, it was successful. Well, I'm not very clean. I'm, uh, I'm covered in who knows what. I've been in a cow barn wrestling in the mud. And uh, the pig is home. He uh, doesn't look very happy because we uh, had to drag him back, but he can stay in here until we find somewhere enclosed that he can't get out. Well, it seems all right in here. Yeah, he's fine. He'll have to share it with the two little horses. Yeah. And... Uh, well, ponies, miniature ponies. Miniature yeah. ponies, yeah. Well, they're yeah. not much bigger than him, are they? Because <laughs> um, we've got nowhere else to put him. No. Minute, so, <sighs> well, I managed to finish the floor. Yeah. It's pristine. Uh, it just needs varnishing and the pig's home. Safe and sound. Brilliant. You stay in you, no more, <laughs> no more trouble from you. <laughs>